What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of A Legend in the Making. Today, we have got the FIFA phenomenon, Emil Heskey. He is probably more famous due to his trials and tribulations in FIFA than due to his actual on the field playing abilities. Now, before we go any further, if you want to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. A very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you will get a discount on your coins. Now, let me talk about why we're looking at Emil Heskey. I, I said to you guys, every time you put in the chat, uh, in the comment section, some players, I'll pick 10 at random. I usually go for like the top comments because the way YouTube works. And I basically pick the first 10 that I haven't used in the top comments. And Emil Heskey in both Roberto Carlos, Thierry Henry and um, Zinedine Zidane was right up there. And I avoided him for as long as possible. But he had like something like 80 or 100 thumbs up this time around. And I thought, you know what, let me just put him in the top 10 and see if he gets there. And it was close. The straw poll, right now I'm looking at it. Heskey has 334 votes. He's number one. Beckham has 306 votes as number two. And then Totti is in third place with 120 votes. So I had to put Heskey on. I had to. Like, he's there. You guys want to see him. And I thought, let me just do him. And I, I didn't want to do a disjustice to you guys. I didn't want to make a mockery of this series. And I didn't want to... Um, turn it into like a troll series or anything. I want to do it legit and seriously. Heskey actually warrants as much as many people a uh, legend card. He has been around in the game for a long time. He's done some important things in football, scored some important goals and I thought I'd be as fair to him as possible for what I think his legend card might look like. And that's what you see in the top left. Now, his honours, he has got 572 games and 136 goals in his career so far. He, of course, does still play for the Newcastle Jets in Australia. He got 62 caps for England and picked up seven goals. Of course, one of those goals being a, a destruction goal against Germany in the 5-1 win at Wembley. It was a, a very, very uh, fun game to watch that was for me. But he's only scored seven in 62. Now... I looked back, like I've, I've known about it. I've obviously watching the BPL growing up, I've seen Heskey all over the place and in the last few years, especially when he was at Villa, every time he came on, I wanted him to do well to get an inform card in FIFA and that's sad I know but that's, how, that's where it was. Um, He's played for Leicester, Liverpool, Birmingham, Wigan and Aston Villa. Of course, Liverpool being the most notorious club he was at and the club where he won literally everything. He did win the Football League Cup twice with Leicester uh, and twice with Liverpool. He won the FA Cup with Liverpool. He won the FA Charity Shield with Liverpool. He won the UEFA Cup with Liverpool, the UEFA Super Cup with, uh, with Liverpool. And he most likely has more trophies than Arsenal in the last eight years. That's a fact. I've uh, given him two-star skill moves. He was not known about his skills and a four-star weak foot because, honestly... He was as equally bad with one foot as he was with the other. That's how. That's as far as it's got to go. Heskey was a strong man. He, he would have, like, looking at his card, right? You look at his card. I've given him 78 pace. The card on the left is his best card that FIFA had ever given him. Uh, his card on the right, I think he would be fucking well suited as a centre-back. Really strong heading, decent defending and decent pace. He would be a really good centre-back. But I've given him 78 pace. He was never the most rapid of players. 78 is about as, as fair as you're going to get. 70 dribbling. He was a bit of a bundle on the ball. 71 shooting because his shot wasn't great and that's that's kind of uh, capitulated in the or like captured in the seven goals for England in 62 games and pretty much one in four goals uh, for the clubs that he played for. Um, which is okay as a striker, but not great. Especially like in, for Villa, he scored nine goals in 92 games, and that's really bad. And for the Newcastle Jets, he's got nine goals in 36 games, so he doesn't score often, and I think that's fair for his shooting to be 71. His heading, of course, is where he scored most of his goals. He's a big guy, he's tall, he's strong, he gets in the box, he gets on the end of crosses, and he scores goals, and his passing was also like left a little bit to be desired. I personally think an 80 rating is a very, very fair rating for a Legend Heskey card. And I think the stats on him are very fair as well. Of course, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hopefully you agree with me. If you don't, let me know in the comment section below who you, uh, who, what you would do for his stats. Also, be sure to keep listing players that you haven't seen. I will have... Uh, there are like a lot of players that I have done that you might not have seen already. I've done Zidane, Henri, uh, Ronaldo, uh, Roberto Carlos, Ronaldinho and Steven Gerrard up to this day. And um, if you missed those out, go check them out. Uh, they're all in a playlist, which I'll I'll leave the link in the description. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the goals, uh, Heskey's best goals in the bottom right-hand corner. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you are, if you could leave a like on it, that would be awesome. But thank you guys, as always, very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Peace.